This cannot be real. Such a cruel intro. You said this is one of the greatest World Cup innings. Is Such a cruel man you are. <laughs> now, just joking. <laughs> this is this is in my book just the greatest white ball innings there has been. Simply because of the pain he had to endure, the situation. It was 90 for seven, and before that it was 69 for five, and from there to chase 290. For the last 70 runs on one foot, playing some of the most insane shots. If you pause some of the shots that he played, you will think it's a great three player struggling. <laughs> and he was hitting them for sixes because his body was contorted into the weirdest of shapes because that is all he could do. This is the, it's one of the greatest. Oh, I mean, I'm trying it, to. Look, it's the greatest. It is the best innings in one day international history. I, 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 I don't know. I couldn't think of a better one. I cannot think, think of a better of one. Viv in the situation, maybe, or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, the situation but the, yeah. of the game, the, the, what he was going through, the, the enormity of Afghanistan looking to win, to beat Australia, to win the World Cup, all of those things. And he just stood there and the the enormity of Afghanistan looking to win, to beat Australia, all of those things. And he just he stood there and hit the ball so cleanly. I mean, how many did he miss it? Yes, there were a couple of chances. Yeah. They will rue those chances early on. But from what, 40, 50, 60, he hardly put a foot wrong, hardly mistimed a yeah. ball. Uh, the reverses, the, the ones, sort of just the timing, the presence to stand still and still time the ball was just phenomenal. I, <laughs> you know what I, the I'm still sort of yeah. flabbergasted about what we've just seen. You know what the number that'll be really interesting to see is the number of runs and the number of balls in that partnership and see what each person's contribution was. <laughs> because Cummins has made 12 of 68 balls yeah. And who's to say that wasn't a heroic 12? It was. <laughs> Take a look at that. So in that partnership, he's made 179 of 102 and the other guys made 12 out of 68. Now, when Mikey Holding was batting alongside Viv Richards, he made something like 10 or 11 out of 125, 130. Mm. This he made 12 out of how many? And he's hit a double hundred. He's hit a double hundred. It's, it's, just, it's just incredible. Well, wow. Pat Cummins had, had the best seat in the house to witness as they've okay. said, the Sorry greatest. Sorry to interrupt, except that Maxwell kept pushing he kept him pushing out of the way. Out of my way. Get out of, out my, of line. my way, he said. <laughs> oh my word. This, this innings will be talked about for a long, long time. For wow. as long as ODI cricket exists, a double hundred chasing 292 against not a very bad bowling attack. Mm -hmm. I tell you, they were seven down for 91. And this match summary is going to paint a horror story for all those Afghanistan fans who thought, here we go, then we will beat another world champion. It wasn't to be. Australia once again telling us that the Aussies just don't ever give up, Harsha. True. And it was an innings for the ages. It transcended the present. Somehow when you were watching this innings, you knew that it was just lifting itself beyond the present, going into another different plane. And... Herschel Gibbs has just sent a WhatsApp message to Najib <laughs> saying, Welcome to the club. Ooh. If they go on to win it from here or Australia, I mean, they've now won six in a row, by the way, mm. after losing two. But we were just discussing, Dooley and me, and you, you were around as well. With 100 runs left, which team looked like it was winning and which team looked like it, had, it was losing? Afghanistan were on the defensive. I think yeah. you might have made the point that yeah. they were a, a team that was winning was looking like it was defending. Yeah, well, we, we said that in the com box. You know, I, I said they cannot afford to just keep being defended. They, they started to go from trying to win the match to trying to defend a total. Yeah. And, and they stopped trying to win. Yeah. And, and look, Max was played an amazing innings, and we, we will talk about it a lot more, and a lot of people will talk about it, and Lord Max will time and time again. But we must look at the other side as well. They stopped trying to win, and they started trying to defend. They took slips out with the spinners when it was still doing it enough for them. They set defensive fields. They stopped trying to get players out and just started to try and defend, thinking that would be okay. And it wasn't okay. It just wasn't okay. And, you know, when you've got a guy like that, he's sort of back against the wall. He misses the last game in controversial circumstances. He lets his team down. And then he goes and repays them like that. It is just phenomenal.